So you can see, can you see the screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, thank you. All right. Uh, quick recap about yesterday. Mm, this is what we did. Uh, where is the notepad? Yeah. Prerequisites, these two. We did start module one. What is HTML done? Tag based, HTML, XML. We, I taught you structure of uh, HTML program, client server, all these stuffs. And then we showed you the first program, right? Having a lot of uh, HTML tags, right? So we talked about uh, italics, bold, paragraph, break, HR, um, anchor tag, image tag, and uh, what is this? This is called as a tag. This is called as an attribute. This is called uh, the value. Mm. This are the various options we have. Alt is the alternative text in case if the image doesn't get rendered. Height, width, there is also called as title in HTML5. And uh, these are the headings from H1 to H6. These are the lists, uh, ordered list and unordered list. And uh, this is the story of table. So this is what we did last class. Uh, Moving on, what today what we will do is I'll give you a couple of, uh, I think I we didn't do this thing, right? For example, uh, go here. This is the output of uh, the output of this program yesterday, whatever we have taught. You can see this is italics, bolden, this is a href, and this is the anchor tag, this is the image tag, and uh, these are the headings, ordered list, and unordered list and table. Now, uh, you can see there is automatically a scroll bar here, right? So what if there is huge amounts of data, let us say, um, uh, let's, uh, let's say, we paste a couple of, I mean, five to six times, you will see lot of you know data right so there's a scroll bar automatically now what if i want to go to the top or some some section so what we call is that is what we call as inner uh, hyper referencing or inside links so for that what we can do is let us say uh, after this table i'll give a heading i mean i'll give a link called as click here to go to the top so the moment I click to the the moment I click that uh, text, you know, top or go to top, I should be the customer should be shown this this page, you know, the the top frame. So for that, what we will do is we say first is first job is where exactly you wanna go. So let's say I wanna go here, uh, you know, the main page. The, the main body welcome to the page welcome to the welcome to my page in the sense the first line right so here what i'll do is i'll create one dummy tag so let's say a href equal to i'll write top you remember how exactly we have written here where is that yeah href is equal to this is called as uh, linking to an external site this is called as internal linking Right. you can close anchor here here itself and make sure you remember this word this top you can write anything there so wherever you want to refer you just say a href equal to instead of just writing top so that is what we did here right a href is equal to top this is what we have done here so here wherever you want to go so you should write it as hash top that is id so what happens is, and uh, you should re you should also write the text like um, click here to go to. It. So whenever you click this, it will search for this ID. So the ID name is top. So where is top? Top is here. So it goes to this particular section. Here you can write div or whatever tag you want. I'm just for the sake of simplicity, I've written uh, a tag. Now what happens is you refresh it. 
yeah so refresh it you will get the page and here it's here it is click here to go to top now the moment you click this it goes to the top section so the top section is here so the takeaway of this is wherever you want to go refer it via hash hash of the id name and that id name you need to refer you need to write to the place where exactly you want to go this is where exactly it needs to go and this is the place where you have written so that the customer upon clicking this it will refer this hash of id i mean the id name is stop so it will go it goes to here so i skip i missed this internal linking part yesterday so i thought i'll finish that apart from this there are various other tags you know for example uh, let me ask one simple question just to just to check whether uh, everyone are in uh, you know sync with me uh, etc now how do you think for example now look here how do you think if i type ms it here how do you think uh, it is showing me this page at the top of the list one you can see here if i type bms it it shows top here if i type bms ce bms ce page is coming here if i type bms it it page is coming here how do you think google knows this to to put it in the first page as the first link and of course what is this you can see this so there is something called as ad right that means they would have paid it these are all paid ads and even though we have not paid it how do you think uh, it is showing here can you please throw me some answers there are so many answers you know one is of course the main main answer is seo search engine optimization but apart from this or is what what you know about seo can you throw some light anyone sir some specific yes, keywords good very good i was searching for i was looking for this one word called keywords very good can you explain me what do you mean by keyword vimal vimal yeah go ahead or yes i'm thinking about it. yeah where do you write those keywords you mean to say yeah this is the keyword right this can be one keyword whatever i have written here huh yes, all right sir. good Yes, yeah, yeah. Now let us. I'll. I'll. Yeah. This is one answer. Second answer is, uh, you know, let me let me go to this plain edu dot in whatever connection private. Forget about it. So let us go to our college. The the existing one itself. Go to uh, right click. You say view source. Yeah. This. Mm. Yes. 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 Look here. One answer is. it will search for this title if you are not able to see can you now see yes 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 one answer for this seo or else he told the word called keywords one answer is your we call as dom tree you know this is a document object model i'll well, explain you in javascript now one answer is it will search for the title title tags bms it comes here and the other answer is you can see there is a tag called meta meta name equal to keywords and this in content uh you know content is equal to this you can write n number of words just separate with comma 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 all this okay top engineering colleges in bangalore bms it bangalore bms institute of technology you can just write comma comma here and you can write some 100 100 to 200 words whatever whatever you want so it will the you know google search engine it matches it tries to match the algorithm tries to match their algorithm tries to match whatever you have typed here whatever you have typed here this will be matched with with these guys keywords now meta means it is the information which will be given to the web browser it is it is not the information that will be given to the uh, to the developer you know whatever meta at the moment you say meta it it always gives some information to the browser for example 
the you know bms it means what this called description and those keywords which should be redirected to this particular site will be nested under keywords and yeah this one this this is called as we have paid around 9000 rupees uh, i mean we we uh, initially in 2015 there is a company in artinagar they have paid around 9000 rupees for that company and uh, the exclusive reason was uh, for search engine optimization okay so where is that here so this you this is the unique code this is the unique code for google site verification which we have paid them so that it will improve uh, google search engines to show our our site as the first site for example i have my own blog this is my blog and here if i type uh Oh, let us say this. Uh, BMS IT something like this. My I need my page. See, it is coming somewhere here. This was not the case. Um, you know, a couple of uh, I think some six to seven months back, my link was somewhere somewhere here or in the second page. So one more answer is due to the number of hits. You know, when people keep seeing it. and we had added somewhere anyway in my previous version i had this hit list or the number of hits it was around 4000 back then anyway uh, one more seo seos one more option is i mean uh, how google search picks your page uh, apart from title apart from keywords apart from paying the third party to tie up with google as part of seo one more answer is your number of hits as well so that is the reason it is getting here now if i want my blog to appear in the first page you know in the in the, in the first page of course in the, as a in the first link as the first link so i should be doing all this you know i should be i should be having seo and i should be doing do, doing all these stuff so i the I just quick recap i am teaching this meta meta is a tag which gives the information about which gives the information to the browser about your site now what we will do is since we have done couple of html tags right i think table and all it comes in module 2 if i am not wrong so since we have done a considerable amount of basic tags now we'll see whether we are in sync with the syllabus okay so that's the reason i have opened uh this this is module 1 you can see 17 cs 71 module 1 we'll see whether we are in sync with the syllabus okay so any doubts you let me know mm, uh this is just a quick recap chapter number 2 and 3 combined together forms module 1 in that book okay chapter 1 that is the module 1 we are seeing now so overview in module 1 there are some six sub topics some history we will see some syntax markup structure of html all these stuffs we have done it so we'll see whether we are in whether we are in line with the syllabus all right so history of html arponet and yeah this is important who is the father of internet if someone asks you this guy tim berners lee we have in fact we have his photograph in one of the labs you know you can see it see mm. it html is defined as markup language all the stuffs we have we have seen i have explained to you via hands on mm. what is markup it is information about the content right previous center bold and all and uh, yeah uh, if html5 was discovered or you know uh, it came to light in 2009 but before that these guys html1 xhtml came what is xhtml is extended version of html see there is a difference between html and xhtml in the uh, meaning uh, semantics way whereas html i mean html doesn't uh, inform you or doesn't tell you 
to follow the rules for example what do you what do i mean by follow the rules is uh, you can see here even if i don't close this image tag right i have the moment i have i write the slash here it means that the image tag is closed so even though you don't write this you know because it is html uh, it doesn't give you any error any error but XHTML standard says every opening tag should be closed, right? So XHTML basically gives you a strict gives you a, a strict rules about what to follow, what not to follow, all right? And who gives all these rules? The answer is this this committee, W3C. This is World Wide Web Committee. This is the committee which Tim Berners Lee is part of this committee. He gives, I mean, they give all these rules. Okay, uh, see XHTML, yeah, the goal of XHTML with its strict rules was to make page rendering more predictable by forcing web authors to create web pages without syntax errors. So it gives some rules. And yeah, I, I forgot to tell you, there is this, okay, let me show hands-on directly. There is this uh, something called as validator uh, dot w3c.org. Yeah, you can just see, yeah validator.w3.org please uh, as a web developer you should know this so what you do is you just go to this page and this page essentially if you give this demo1.html as input it will tell you whether whether you have followed all the protocols Well, you know where is the error all the stuff it just validates so you just give the input and say check you can see mm, consider a lang attribute here the character encoding was not declared character encoding means this one let me show control shift okay not this control shift t i guess not this one What I mean is, you go to college website, you say source, yeah. This is that lang is equal to n attribute is missing. That is what it is saying. Lang attribute is not there. How do you add it? This one. And uh, I wanted to show encoding is equal to UTF-8. Do we have it? Yeah, this one. You can see this UTF-8 standard is not set in our program. So basically, we have given our program as the input, demo1.html. It says lang is not there. How do you add lang language? So here it is, the first line, this one. And uh, character encoding was not declared. That is this character set utf8 okay what is this utf8 i'll give you i'll explain you in simple words look here uh, the moment you want to make sure the browser understands uh, i mean apart from the various various many other answers one answer which i would like to give is you should you can make your machine understand about mm, your character enti entities for example let me show oh, sorry, sorry. let me show uh, one second guys uh, dean sir has come okay uh, Uh, let me show this character entity set where it played a big role in my uh, research as well. Mm.
this. Okay, look here, please. I have, uh, yeah, these. These, this is the Kannada text here. These are all the various Kannada reviews, I can say, Kannada text. And how do I make sure my machine understands or my browser understands that whatever you're going to read, it's, it's a Python module, it's whatever you're going to read is actually Kannada. So how do you make sure it understands it? Well, you should write this encoding is equal to UTF-8. The moment it, the moment you write this, it the the browser understands, or not the browser, the the Python you know core module. It understands that whatever it is about to read, it is encoded via UTF-8. That means it is Kannada, Kannada, Hindi, whatever, whatever. We call as just to give you some insights. There is something called as Unicode and Unicode. All right. So what what is the stuff is? Uh, Unicode, you just type it as Unicode, very sign. Yeah. Yeah, you can see here. You can put your Unicode here and say convert. It will give you Unicode. That is the opposite of your Unicode. That means if you if you write any Unicode characters and you want the, the original characters of it, that is called Unicode, you can use this Unicode, Unicode conversion and uh, get those guys okay so read, just go to just type it type as unicode very sign it will give you all these details so basically i am ex trying to explain you what do you mean by utf8 all right okay where was the stuff yeah next one uh yeah this is i didn't teach you this sorry very i'm very sorry first first line should be this line now, guys, understand bef before, uh, yeah, here. The moment you write this line that is not equal to doc type HTML, two answers, two, two, I can say, two things to understand. You should understand two things. One, it is a HTML5 document to uh, this doc type. The moment you write doc type, doc type means the information that should be. Even to not to the developer, even to the browser, but the document which is about to render is a HTML document. So these two things you need to understand the moment you encounter this line. First is whenever uh, you try to encounter this. For example, go to right click view source. You can see first line in our college website, they have used not equal to doc type HTML. Similarly, you go to any other page, let us say this page itself. So, sorry, not inspect. Just go to right click page source. You can see the first line. This means they have used HTML5 and second is the browser understands that the following page is a HTML page. Now before HTML5, see HTML5 came in 2009. What was the story before HTML5? You can see this I have written here. Now before HTML5, in HTML 4.01 version, you should have written this line. This is the story about HTML4. This is HTML. Now, if you have used XHTML version, that is version number 1.1 in XHTML. See, HTML uh, extended version is XHTML. 
after all these xhtml came into existence now in xhtml 1.1 the doc type that you should have written is this line you know you should go to this page you will get document type definition get that dtd whereas before xhtml 1.1 there was this html version now there was uh, three types one is called as transitional one is called strict another is called loose so it it says loose means the document that you are about to render is a html document and it the rules that this particular page follows is not strict that means if you have written instead of transitional if you have written loose it, it says it it communicates to the browser that some tags may not have closed that means the developer has not followed enough standards enough you no know, rules so this is just to give the information about what type that the browser is about to render and whether it is a strict transitional or loose or whatever now this ruled out subsequently that is html4 got ruled out and then xhtml came into existence in 2007 2008 and all and it came out with xhtml standards and th those standards are present here document type definitions now this also got ruled out then in 2009 html5 came into existence and html5 said only this line the document type that you are about to render is a html and the moment you write this line it is understood that you are using html5 not xhtml or html 4.01 or whatever okay so that is what um, Mm, this guy says that means the first line we have not written now we have written here 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 all right okay next one uh, straight tag h1 you can see h1 here column surventing hr is not allowed as a child element of h1 even though no errors but this page this validator.w3.org tells you all these strict rules you know table border is obsolete we should we should define table border is equal to bordered or should have some style all this stuff see that's what it says use css instead that means since i have not taught you css i couldn't have written css here so what what is the takeaway of today's class we i told you how to do inner linking and go to w3.org validator.w3.org go to this line uh, so go to validate by file upload give your file and check it it will ask you i mean it will give you a lot of inputs now quick 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 uh, yeah search html yeah parting it's like 1999 all the stuffs yeah xml based syntax rules the main rule says this tag name should be lower case attribute always within the quotes what do you mean by attribute values within the quotes this one this one you can see here yeah this also border is equal to 3 this should be within the quotes you can see here this is the attribute this is the value attribute values within the quotes so that is what we have followed here here all this Mm. next all elements must have closing elements or be self closing self closing means this image tag has a self closing element whereas anchor tag has does not have a self closing element we have closed it explicitly that means either you should close it explicitly or certain tags have this self closing element not all certain tags all right you can see h1 also this closed nicely so next uh xhtml2 versions i told you already strict version transitional version there is one more called loose version as well these are the various uh, versions before html5 all right next one uh, this is what i told you validator.w3.org validators so go here it will, it will validate it. how one example that is what i told you open it 
and uh, these are the various history. This these slides talks about history. And yesterday I told you HTML is a what you see is a what you get language, right? Uh, if if you commit any errors, it will be shown as such. Now, yeah, in H by in 2009, HTML5 got developed by W3C. Mm. I will tell you various uh, benefits of you know HTML5. One simple benefit. I'll show you here itself. Before HTML5, the moment you there was no tag called video tag. Right? In HTML5, we do have a tag called video. That means how do you embed a video inside your web page? You should have written some four to five lines in script and you should have called that particular function before HTML5. Whereas in HTML5, only one line is enough. Video SRC is equal to whatever, uh, you know, the path name or any other uh, uh, the, the video which is hosted on some other website. So just one line is enough in HTML5. Like this, we do have a uh, header. Uh, we do have, uh, you know, footer. All these are HTML5 tags. Yeah. And then we do have a section tag, which I will be teaching you uh, subsequently. There is a tag called aside. There is a tag called... Uh, mm, the group that is called as H group, various HTML5 tags, and there is a tag called audio. Yeah. So various, these are all HTML5 tags, not available in previous versions. Okay. So three main aims, specify unambiguously how browsers should deal with invalid markups, provide a non-programmed, non-proprietary programming framework, no, be backward compatible. Yeah, this is quite interesting. Uh, your HTML5 pages are always backwards comp backward compatible. What do you mean by this? You develop the HTML5 page. You develop this page and you leave the company. Your other friend, your colleague joins. And uh, let us say he is very much interested in the version before HTML5. So you can easily convert back uh, from HTML5 to before HTML5. So we do have in Python, uh, there is a package called, if you install this pip install 223, there is a package in Python called 223. Means the moment you do pip install 223, and uh, you know, let us say you have a Python version two program, some program which is of version two, and you need to convert it to third version. So just give that input two to three. Just just say two to three uh, s dot pi. So your s dot pi, which is in version two, will be now converted to version three. So yeah, that is called compatibility. Anyway, HTML five, all this. Yeah, I can see um, you know all these modern browsers support HTML five, HTML syntax. That is what we that is what we have given you all these tags image a all these have been given uh, hands-on approach that is what i told you during the initial stages of my class so i'll be doing hands-on parallelly i'll shift to the officials just to check we are in whether we're in sync with the syllabus so all these image tag i have taught you a tag and ul ol li these are all various uh, lists Headings H1, H2, up to H6. Define metadata. That is what I did today. That is your, the description given to the browser. And yeah, this is called as a element or a tag name. This is called href is called the attribute. And this is called as a value. This is equal to whatever. Nesting, various nestings. So in body, you have a P. In P, you have a strong. So it should be in the reverse order. So you open strong, you open P first, and then you open strong. So it should close strong first and then P. It is quite understood. And uh, we have taught you H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, semantic markup, structure of HTML. You remember this, uh, yeah, this 
structure of html all this same thing you can see this is the structure i told you here itself in the head part we should write styles and script apart from title and that is how it looks so link relationship is equal to style sheet rel href is equal to whatever dot css script source is equal to whatever your javascript location and then close the script this is called external javascript there are three ways one is called inline javascript internal javascript and external javascript similar to style inline style internal style and external style we'll see that later all right so doc type nf yeah you can see here tells the browser what type of document it is about to process so i have given here the moment you write doc type html it is a html5 document and doc type means all this so that is what they have given here and html head body whatever i mean whatever we have done last classes inside the head part what needs what goes inside the head and what goes inside the body i told you by taking that car example right so visible stuff put it in body the functions and all scripts are all put it in head part external css will yeah section 5 out of 6 quick tour of html uh, various tags you know we have seen this h1 h2 paragraph strong uh, div i have not taught you div is nothing but a division you know it doesn't have any explicit meaning it's just a division it is heavily used in uh, it will be used heavily in our class later i'll teach you what is called as bootstrap i will be teaching you Mm, one second so we'll go to get bootstrap dot com yeah now i think the version is 4 mm, yeah fourth version we'll install this then then you'll understand all this it's a responsive web page grid based web page you know there you'll understand div and all beautifully okay headings h1 h2 up to h6 paragraph tag div tag links that is what i i told i we that is what we taught yesterday hey href is equal to this mm, this is called external uh, linking and types of links yeah this is what i talked i taught you today hey href is equal to hash talk this page this section it is called section wise linking link to a other other place on the same page that is what we did here right so i wrote a top section here wherein i defined wherein i gave a link here hash top so that is what i did and uh, yeah coming from the beginning this is external site and this is ex in external site if you want to refer to particular source and uh, this is to another page in the same web project the same project the same folder this is in the same folder same document different section and this is another page in the same folder different section this is how do you mail it you know for example if you click someone it will open a uh, this is actually a, a javascript object you know it will open a pop up window and it will go to the default email client if you have configured the default client has outlook it will go to outlook else it will go to your default client box and if you can, you can also include your javascript items you know open a window open whatever whatever and then all this so these are the various anchor tags you know linking the text click here that is what we have taught you here in the anchor tag uh absolute referencing and relative referencing that is what i have taught here in the image tag yeah this is one if you place the image inside the same folder you need not have to write the full path if you place in some other for example let us say this demo dot h1 demo one dot html is in c drive and this image demo dot png is in d drive so you should have it you you, you should write p colon all this put the name all the stuff that is called referencing relative referencing all this so url referencing is this 
and uh, I have taught you A tag, BR, strong, and all. Image tag, this talks about image tag. Yeah, this is what is being taught image yesterday, I guess. Alt, title, width, height. This is what, yeah. Image tag, alt, height, width. Lists, unordered, unordered, ordered, defini definition list. I have not taught you. I'll teach you later. So this is unordered list. This is ordered list. I have taught you yesterday, right? And this one, ordered list and unordered list. Now you please remind me to teach you DT and DD. That is definition type and definition data. We'll see that. Character entity says, if you want to leave some space here, see, uh, okay, it's good that we encountered this. See, BMS long space hospital. So we'll see how it how it renders. We can refresh it. What is that? See, BMS. We have given a lengthy space and hospital. There is uh, the long space is not encountered. It's not rendered. So for that, what you should do is you should do ampersand nbsp semicolon. So this will give you one space. Two, three, four, five, whatever, 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 and then the control S come here. You refresh it. You can see the the space being rendered. You can now inspect element this. You can see yeah this one, and then BSP and then here itself. You can write. You can you can see. Where is that? Yeah, this one. You can write enough. Uh, mm, amper, uh, you know, ampersand NBSP, and you can test here itself. I will be teaching you all this. How do you inspect? What is this? Whenever you click it, and what is this page? So this is how the page gets rendered in your mobile site. For example, you can take any any form. You can take. Uh, Galaxy S Y. This is how the page gets rendered. You can take, let us say, iPhone six, seven, eight. This is how it gets rendered. You can click here. It goes here. This, the shadow icon is your uh, cursor, and uh, this is responsiveness. I will teach you this responsiveness, everything in Bootstrap, um, in my subsequent classes. Okay, and I'll be teaching you all this stuff later. This is the style element which refers, which gets referred. We'll see. Mm, yeah, this one and NBSP. I'm teaching you character entities. This and NBSP and copy and copy is your copyright symbol. You have seen right in some pages copyright. I think we have also put it somewhere. We just come down. One seventeen. I think we have put copyright two thousand nineteen. Yeah, I can see here. Yeah, this this symbol, copyright 2019 BMS ITM all rights rights is out. If you want to have this symbol, that is that and copy. You can say inspect here, and uh, you will somewhere see. Yeah, then okay, they have given they have written explicitly, but you can also write that and copy. This is one more way. Okay. All right, so that is this. And uh, semantic element div, this, this slide talks about HTML5 versus HTML5. I have not taught you all this. Header, H group, nav, article, section. I have listed down all those stops here, right? What is that? Here, here, here. Video, header, footer, section, aside, group, H group, audio, header, footer, all this figure, caption, all these I'll teach you later, and then I'll come back to these slides. Okay, header and footer. Once I teach you, uh, we are hands on. So remember the slide name for this. This is 67th. Out of 182, we are done with some 66 slides. 67th is HTML5, which talks, I mean, HTML5, certain specific tags, header, footer, all the stuff. I will be teaching you all these via hands on first, and then I'll come back to these slides. All right, let us stop. Any doubts, guys? 
Hmm? Any doubts means you can please put it here else uh, you can drop your attendance. You can write your USN name and the number, USN and the name and the name um, which I will consider as attendance. I hope the session went well. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. It was supposed to be at 11.50 and since I had some other work, I had to take at 12.30. So thank you very much and be um, be very, very active in the classrooms. That is especially, that is basically your uh, official mail IDs. I will not use WhatsApp and like today, I didn't use WhatsApp to communicate with you. I just dropped an announcement in in the classroom, in your class. So like that, I will be sharing all my materials, notes, uh, many other assignments, many other stuff. So even the classroom class notifications that today is this are the section, all the stops, everything exclusively in classroom. No WhatsApp. Even you should follow the same thing. So any doubts, please put it here. Else drop your attendance. And uh, thanks for your patience. Thanks for the extra time that you have given to me. Uh, Thank you very much.